our first guest. Um, it is one of the most disturbing things that I've seen in a long time caught on tape, and I really wanted her to be a guest on this show. It's a daytime exclusive. This video of a woman who fought off a man inside her apartment gym, you saw it. I, I, just like the rest of you, I logged onto my social media one day, and this was trending. And I'm watching this video, and I'm thinking, is this a movie? This can't be real. It is, in fact, real. And it was released a little over three weeks after it happened. And now the woman in that video is ready to talk in a daytime exclusive and share, and share how this moment in her life, she's now using what happened to her to empower and educate other women, other people really, about our safety and awareness of your surroundings. Before we Look at that video. I, I have to share with our audience watching and those, th this is a trigger warning show because the footage, it is of a person attempting assault according to police. Take a look. January 22nd, 2023 started out a typical night for Nashali Alma. She was working out at the gym at her Tampa apartment complex like she often does. A bodybuilder, some call a fitness model, has spent years dedicated to physical fitness and building strength. But on this night, she had no idea she would be called on to use her body to save her own life. Midway through her workout, Nashali heard someone at the door. She thought it was someone who'd forgotten their key fob and let them in. Whenever he was at the door, I buzzed him in and he came inside. My thought process was it was just another dude coming in to work out. So he didn't actually talk to me at all. After I buzzed him in, he, he went to the other side of the gym because I was on the opposite side. And next thing you know, I get up from doing my workout and I grab my phone and he just approaches me. And not a single word was exchanged. In that moment, Nashali didn't hesitate. As soon as he was approaching me, I pushed him. I said, bro, what the are you doing? Uh, I said, get away from me. And he kept trying to come towards me and kept reapproaching me and I ran off to the side, and I stood there for a second, and I went to call 911 at that moment, and that's where he started trying to grab my phone, and he started chasing me around the bench, and we ended up on the other side of the gym. Security footage captured Nashali fighting him off. At one point, the attacker is seen grabbing Alma as she kept hitting his head. When it was happening, I actually had no fear. I knew I was stronger than him, and I knew I could fight back. Nashali tries to call 911 during the struggle, but can't. The man eventually let her go and she ran out. Less than 24 hours later, he was identified and arrested. I was overwhelmed with emotion at how proud I was and how hard she fought and the strength she had. I know that her story is gonna be an inspiration to other women. My parents always told me in life to never give up on anything. And that's one thing I always kept in my mind when I was fighting him. As as long as you don't give up, you fight back, you show him that you are strong, that you are one, that you're able to fight back and survive this and get out of the situation, I believe it's possible. And for the first time, Nasali Alma is revealing to the TAM fam how this experience changed her life. Our audience is already standing on their feet. Please welcome survivor Nasali Alma to the show. Thank you. Thank you. You see. You just said, I'm going to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, you know, I don't even know, honestly, where to start, because you are incredible. Thank you. Um, you are incredible. <laughs> so let, let, let's, start, let's start at the beginning. So you were there in the gym, as you tell. What time of the evening or so was it? Um, so it happened on a Sunday night. Yeah. It was a roughly like 9.30 p.m. Is that the time you usually work out? Yeah, yeah. I'm always there almost every weekend on Sundays, working out the same exact time. So this is your regular routine. This is a day in the life yeah. um, for you. I am so struck because I think a lot of people have had that dilemma where someone's at a door and you either say, do I hold it open for them? Do I open that door? So you see the person at the door I think you thought exactly what most people, oh, they forgot their key fob, and you let him in. Did he ever make eye contact with you? No, so, you know, like a human being, you let him in. So I let him in, and as soon as I did, I kind of just brushed it off and went right back to my workout, but I didn't notice him looking at me or, you know, making any weird gestures. Had you ever seen him before? I saw him once at the apartment complex around the area, so I knew he was a resident there. So he was a resident in the building? 
Because the first thing I saw in the video once he walks in, he has on like at, uh, like the shower shoes. Like yeah, some like slides. Like slides. 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 So yeah. I think okay, well from the slides he looked casual, like he was coming right. in. So you saw him. He went on the other side of the gym, and you could not see him. Right. So once you reach the other side of the gym, what does he start saying to you? That's when I went to grab my phone to call 911. He said, "Don't do that. Don't call nobody." And I said, "What?" And that's when he started to grab me. And <laughs> so, according to police records, the very next day, your attacker allegedly tried this again with another woman, reportedly watching her on a balcony, then knocking on her door, getting into that apartment, and her fiance chased him out. So, when he got out of there, you got out. You didn't know what happened to right. him. You called authorities and reported it. But he was just somebody that you were trying to identify to right. authorities. Yeah. Luckily, um, I knew he, he lived there, so luckily they had like some type of, you know, thought, okay, he lives in some type of building. And I, that one time I saw him around the apartment complex, he came out of his building, so I knew where he had lived. Mm -hmm. And luckily, you know, they were able to catch him. Back to, you, you know, you talked about your mother teaching you to never give up. I mean, in the video, you look a lot bigger than you are in person, I have to say. <laughs> I mean, when you walked out, I was like, she's tiny. <laughs> um, so there you are, he's a big guy, and you are just hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. <laughs> First of all, anyone who's been assaulted, it is not their fault. They've done nothing wrong. Right. It's just this day, you were able to fight him off. Right. <laughs> you know, one of the scariest moments of, of, of defending yourself, I took a personal self-defense class in college. It was one of those things that they tell you to do. And when he got you on the ground, my heart, because what we don't know, and they teach you this in personal, women often have the advantage on the ground mm -hmm. because you're closer versus the reach. But a lot of people don't know that. So right. you're on the ground and you're using your body strength to fight back. Do you, think, do you think he knew that he perhaps picked the wrong one that day? I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think, I think um, as soon as he was trying to lift me up oh. and I stepped right back down my foot, mm -hmm. I think he knew right then and there, oh man, this girl's a fight. And, and you kept that phone in your hand. Yeah, like you're did. trying to <laughs> dial. I had him in like a little headlock so for a second. So you have him in a headlock yeah. and you're legs are wrapped up, and you're still trying to yeah. call. <laughs> and then I realized that his one hand was trying to grab my phone, so I, had, like, I, like, it was so tight on my, my hands, so I didn't let go of it. That's when I was like, okay, stop trying to call number one, let's fight him. So that's when, off camera, you don't even see it, but when we got off camera, he was trying to put me in a chokehold. And I wiggled out of it, I elbowed him in the face, and that's when I pulled his beard hair. You, you pulled yeah. his beard. <laughs> Um, how long did this last? How long did this go on? I want to say about seven, eight minutes. Um, the alleged attacker has been arrested facing charges of sexual battery, false imprisonment, <laughs> kidnapping. Um, according to the Rape, Abuse and Incest uh, National Network, about 25 out of every 1,000 perpetrators end up in prison. Only about 25 out of 1,000. The audience says you're a hero. Do you feel that way? <laughs> I do. Uh, I didn't feel like a hero at first. I just felt like a survivor. Yeah. Um, but after the video was surfaced, after the video was released, everyone with the amount of like support and love from everyone from all around the world, yeah. tell me like I'm a hero. That you are someone. You are special. You did. You did that. Yes. And I'm just very proud of that. Yeah. And I know that. A big part of what you're doing now is sharing this story, not to scare women. This is to remind us um, of awareness, of self-defense, of empowerment, and to not give up.